Hey, uh, let's jump right in. We're making a baby nest today. Everything I use for this project is in the description box. I'm using baking paper to make a pattern. On a double layer I'm drawing a quarter of an oval and cutting that out. Then I'm placing it on a foam mat on the center fold and leave 10 centimeters in between. When I cut it out it gives me a beautiful oval shape which we will use for our mattress. Now it's time to bring in the star of the show and see if everything fits for her. And then I'm cutting out one more because the foam I got was a little thin, but you can totally do this once and just use a thicker foam. I'm tracing the shape we made on a jersey fabric. And then I'm cutting that out with seam allowance. I added two centimeters, I think, but one centimeter is completely enough. And then I'm cutting that out, placing it wrong sides together and sewing along the edge while leaving a, an opening for your foam to fit inside. Then you turn it inside out and place the foam inside. And then we have this beautiful little mattress. To close it I'm doing the mattress stitch. If you don't know how to do the mattress stitch I will link down a video below. The basic idea is to close it without the seam showing too much. Then it's time to measure our little mattress all the way around. Mine was like 2 meters. And we are using that measurement to make 3 long strips. Each of them 35 centimeters wide. And we are making them a bit longer because we need all the length to braid. And we always lose a little bit when we braid. I'm folding them in half and I'm sewing along the long edge and turning it inside out. Now it's time for the really long and tedious process of filling that thing. And the dogs were like, oh my god, she's making a new bed for us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the filling I'm using is from Amazon. I will put it down in the description box. It comes in this bag of 1 kilo and I almost used everything for this project. Okay, on to the next step, which is braiding. Super exciting. First I'm attaching everything at the top because it kept moving around and it was really hard to braid. And then you're just braiding along. Make sure that you don't make it too tight because we still want a little bit of movement in there. If you ever need to calm down your baby, just spray it in front of her <laughs> or him. Okie dokie, now we've finished braiding. And now I'm taking the mattress, placing it around and then we're gonna close this whole thing up. But first I'm gonna fill in the ends a little bit more to make it easier. And baby got really tired, so I'm just turning her around because this is more comfortable for her to sleep. And uh, joining the braid in the end was kind of hard to be honest. Like I messed up the first time and it wasn't like the seamless transition that I had in mind so I had to redo it but at least now I'm happy with how it looks <laughs> and uh, basically the idea is to join the ends together with the mattress stitch and leave a small opening then you fill it up completely and then you close it and I'm just sewing the strands together so not the whole braid but just like the individual strands and that way it looks like it's just one seamless braid. If you're totally confused, just leave me a comment and I will try to explain it a bit better. And she was constantly like, oh my god, there's a needle, let me touch that. And I'm like, no. She's like, yes. <laughs> so eventually we had to take her away because that's dangerous, yo. Then I was finally finished with the braid after the second attempt <laughs> and I was really happy with how it looked and I placed it around the mattress and I tucked it down by hand all the way around 
And there we go guys, we are finished. All in all, I'm super happy with it. We use it every day for her to cuddle in and roll around in without ending up on a little bit, for example. And if you make this for your baby or your dog, I would be super happy to see it. So send me a picture. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.